Amen. Um, you know, when you are being called upon to lead a session and um, all the appellations and, and lengthy introduction, that is almost like shooting a promotional video um, comes up. It becomes not only frightening, but um, you begin to buckle with trepidation. You ask yourself, okay, now people are going to listen. So you have to be careful. Um, first of all, I want you to help me. Let us celebrate the visionary and the leadership of EAM ministry, our father, a man that has loved God, a man that we have. I, the other day I was, I was with a man of God um, at the FM station, um, Sunny FM. And um, he asked me the impact of EAM and um, revenue stood on my life. And I said, I need to probably get some of you pictures when my head was the only thing you could see. And um, I was very tiny and following, following hard. I have not known him for long, but in the late 90s, I met him and um, following. And I can tell you that it's been a blessing to me. Some of us look up to him and do what um, we are doing now. I believe that if they had not stood up some of us would have left the vessel a long time ago. Amen. And so I want you to help me. Let us celebrate our Reverend Istud, our father, and our mom. Hallelujah. Come on. Is that the only praise you have in your belly? You can praise God some more. Amen. I also want you to help me. Let us salute and celebrate. the Without, without people, visions will perish. So those that have made sure the vision has come to stay. Um, all the people who are part of the EAM, um, the leadership and the workers, Moses and everybody involved, uh, everybody, Daphne, everybody, Lady D, but everybody, everybody, amen. And um, I also want you to help me, let us celebrate the women of God. Oh 
that sing amen. Amen, amen. Amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, thanksgiving. So say and me ya won't
lift it up with me that is if your bible is with you could you please lift it up and say this is my bible it is the word of god i'll become what it says i can become i'll go where it says i can go 
I will achieve what he says I can achieve. Slap your chest and say, I am a believer. Come on, do it again. Say, I am a believer. Um, I want you to turn your Bibles quickly to the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 10. That is going to be our anchor scripture for prayer. 1 Samuel chapter number 10. Oh, by the prophet Samuel verses 5 and 6 first Samuel chapter number 10 the verses 5 and 6 from the thundering diction of the King James Bible it reads after the thou shall come to the hill of God where is the garrison of the Philistines shall come to pass when thou art come thither to the city that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery with a tabret and a pipe and a harp before them and they shall prophesy and the spirit of the lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man I want us to pray heavenly father we know that the grass will wither the flower will fade but your word will abide forever we pray that in this time that you've given to us oh god you give us a word that works give us words that are customized to our needs direct our path help us to find you oh god in the name of jesus we we commend and commit the whole day unto you not just this session but the next session and the evening sessions oh god we pray that you show yourself to us as never been before that will experience you in dimensions untold in the mighty much less supreme superior name of jesus christ the one who rules reigns and has regency amen i, I want you to look for three people before you take your seats and tell them you need to prophesy come on look at three people and tell them you need to prophesy you need to, you have to, you ought to, you must prophesy. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Please take your seats if you've done that. Um, you don't be sitting for long, so enjoy your seats. Um, in the short time that you are going to sit. I told you that my session is not to try to exegete the test. It is to lead you through prayer and try as much as possible to avail ourselves for God to use us in any capacity that he deems fit. Um, I told them during the interview on Sunny FM that 
one thing about the spirit of god is the window of unpredictability whereby he remains god and he always has a surprise underneath his sleeves that he can surprise us he can do anything that he wants to do um, great man is good to have you um, um, and so he chooses what he wants to do and nobody can question him or try to even challenge his, his, his thought or why he's doing what he's doing and so I'm not going to even get into um, trying to exegete the test is for the next sessions and the evening sessions mine is to lead you through prayer but in leading you through prayer and getting us into the breakthrough encounter I just want us to situate our prayer points right so that when we are praying we'll be praying out of scripture as well um, the scripture that we just read, I was shocked yesterday um, um, because it was something that I had wanted to talk about when the Apostle General had mounted the stage and quoted the same um, test before I went out to go and teach my class. Um, he has started talking about First Samuel chapter number 10, Rahel Sepulchre, moving us through the motions and all that. Um, but, but there is one thing that is also very important that I need us to pray with, especially this morning. When it comes to the anointing that we are talking about, the theme for this year's love revolution is the anointing. And um, the anointing breaks yoke, it covers, it protects, it promotes, it causes your face to shine. It, it does so many other things which are going to be, um, um, we're going to gain much more insight and enlightenment even as we journey through the entire program. But, but, but there is also something about the anointing that we need to also situate right in the scripture. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 9 from the verse number 15, the Bible says, And the Lord God had spoken into the ears of Samuel the day before Saul came, and said unto him that tomorrow about this time I'll send you a man out of the land of Benjamin. You can go into your Bible. From the verse number 15, 1 Samuel chapter number 9, I read, um, The Lord had spoken into the ears of Samuel the day before Saul came, and said to him from the verse number 16, Tomorrow about this time I'll send you a man out of the land of Benjamin that you will anoint him to be captain over my people now the bible says that and whilst they went about there were some ladies that were that were also going about their business they asked for the direction to where the prophet was when they had gotten there the bible says that they had asked them they asked the prophet they had met samuel and still had the guts to ask samuel could you please direct me to the house of the prophet now that is to tell you people of god that you can be very anointed and yet unnoticed um, it is to tell you that the people who really carry the anointing or the grace or the might or the power of God, they don't wield any cast off necessarily or they don't hold stuff or they don't hold things to depict that they carry the anointing. Actually, the powerhouse people of God, when they are moving about their daily routines or getting through the motions every day, they don't wear cast off. They don't have anything around them that will show that these guys are anointed. And why are you saying that, young man? Because if you read the book of First Samuel chapter number 9, the Bible says and when Saul and the servant had met the prophet, the premier prophet, the, the general, the apostle general of his time, actually the pope of his time, the bishop of his generation, when they had met him, his identity was still concealed. It tells you that you shouldn't take anybody for granted because there are people who are carrying the anointing of God and yet when you see them, there is nothing that tells that they carry the anointing of God. I pray that your eyes will be open to understand and appreciate the people who who are carrying their real oil they are not walking about with titles but they are the people that, who, that are carrying the grace and the might of god look at somebody and tell the person i carry grace can you tap three people and tell them i carry grace no, no, no look at somebody the person might not believe in you this is a prophetic service look for somebody and tell the person neighbor you don't know my identity but i carry something that can push you to where you belong i, I carry something the, the prophet was carrying something that will change the destiny of Saul forever and yet he was not noticeable the anointing and the anointed they are never recognized they are only revealed you can only know who is anointed through revelation 
actually God has to give you a revelatory experience of his own man because the Bible says that and, and, and Jesus had asked them who do men say that I am and they said some are saying you are Elias others are saying you are Elisha others are saying you are one of the prophets of old and he asked them okay that is people's perspective and opinion but who do you say I am and the, 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 the Bible says Peter had looked into the eyes of Jesus and said unto Jesus you are Jesus the son of the living God and Jesus said unto him flesh and blood has not given you this but it was given to you by my father in heaven it tells you that who a, a man is truly can never be recognized who I am you can never tell but if Jesus gives you a revelation of what I carry that is the only time you can say that that is a man of God that is a woman of God that is a businessman that is somebody that I can walk with may God open the eyes of people around you that they can appreciate what you carry and tell where you are going look at somebody and tell the person he's talking to you uh, can, can I take it a little bit deeper before we pray can, can I take it a little the Bible says that in, and the prophet the premier prophet was still asked about his identity it means that truly the anointed people do not walk about with titles I, I will try to water it down so that it, it doesn't appear offensive to people who are title driven but technically people of God you should understand I, I thank God that um, our father when he goes to places he calls himself brother Eastwood he goes to places and calls himself Reverend Eastwood he says I'm Eastwood Anaba but we know that there are people that if you call them by their names huh, Mm, there, there, there are things that might happen to you that you need a whole barrel of oil to bury yourself in so be, be, because there are people who believe that for you to get high you need a title but a, a title doesn't make you entitled you don't need a title to ascend you need the anointing to ascend the bible says who shall ascend to the hill and who shall dwell in his holy place uh, he that has clean as pure has and has not lifted up his eyes unto vanity neither has the person sworn this east shall receive the blessings of the Lord and his righteousness from the God of his salvation therefore lift up your heads O ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors and let the king of glory enter the ring who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord who is mighty in but I pray for you right now that may every gate be lifted for you you are not walking with title but may doors be opened for you as never been before whatever God wants to do with your life may those doors be made available a title does not doors of the universe and ancient gates and, and ancient doors do not respond to titles man, man of God ancient doors and, and ancestral doors and, and doors to higher heights do not respond to titles they respond to a name they don't respond to titles they respond to a name the bible says therefore a name has been given that at the mention of that name and, and so i don't i don't have to come with my title i go to places and they call me young man oh michael how are you doing and i get excited about it because that does not diminish the oil how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in it is like the oil that was poured on the head of Aaron and you, you please understand this that God will always honor headship doors do not respond to titles check it out very well Psalm 24 the concluding part lift up your heads O ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors and let the king of glory enter the ring then the inquisitor asked who is this king of glory and the bible says that and he prophetically answered him and said it is the lord the one who is strong and mighty 
Um, because in case you want to stop me from getting into that door, there is a God who is strong. And my, thank God this is a breakthrough encounter. Any door that is yours and any strong man around that door, may every door and gate be lifted to your advantage. Let gates be opened. Let doors be lifted. And let God show himself strong in your life. A premier prophet walking about but without a title the people did not know there were things that he carried but were not visible to the naked eye that is why you make a mistake when you meet a book and judge it by its cover Aral tokens the one who wrote the fellowship of the ring out of which they made the movie the lord of the rings in his famous book the fellowship of the ring he said and i quote not everything that is gold that glitters there are people who are golden but they don't glitter and so you might meet somebody who is gold and when you look at them their shoes do not tell they are gold their clothing will not tell they are gold there is nothing around them that will tell they are gold but they are carrying something that will be able to push you from where you are to where you belong i pray that god will open your eyes that you will never bypass somebody that carries something that will take you to your next level why we miss divine opportunity is because most of the time we think that gold is supposed to glitter so if we don't see the glitz and the glamour we abandon and forsaken pure class and gold that god is bringing to us it is your ability to identify the hidden potential in people that will determine the help and the usefulness of that people to your destiny um, no matter who the person is there are certain things if you are to check the nuances of the person's life you realize that the person is carrying something that if you are able to latch on or hold on to or glean from it will bless your life but until you are able to identify the hidden potential in the lives of people you will look at them and treat them as any ordinary person the reason why people are not treating you well is because they don't they have no revelation of who you are the reason why people are not opening doors for you yet is because they lack revelation of who you are but i pray that from today the eyes of people is a breakthrough encounter the eyes of people will be open to appreciate what you carry and what you are made up of I I, I, wanna, I want to hurriedly conclude so that we can pray but check this out people of God it's amazing that the Bible says and when he met him he said to him you are looking for somebody but I am he um, maybe that is for another day um, because if I want to stay on that one, I need another service. He said, if whoever you are looking for, <laughs> I am he. But check the account. He said, what you were looking for has already been found. It, it shakes my heart when I get to that portion of scripture. Because sometimes you think you are in a quest for something, but God was actually routing you to meet with destiny. I pray that whatever you are looking for, not only will the things be found, but God will cause you to stumble upon something that is bigger than what you are even looking for. Maybe I'm talking to myself in a breakthrough encounter. But may God cause you to stumble upon something that is even bigger than what you were looking for. Say so you were looking for your father's animals. They have already been found. You thought it was money you were looking for. But God was orchestrating a position. You thought you were looking for a job. But God was orchestrating an idea. God will always set you up to display his glory through you. Okay. Um, young man, you are being very um, theological with the Old Testament doctrines and 
and theology. In the New Testament, man of God, the Bible says Jesus had, had healed a man who had been infected on, and afflicted with demons. And the scripture says that after the affliction and Jesus had met the man, Jesus, um, the, the, the demons had begged Jesus to heal him. Um, to, to forgive them and, and just let them go into the swine. Jesus heeded or hearkened to their voice and, and allowed them to go. Scripture says, the man said to Jesus, now that I am whole, my people rejected me. Allow me to follow you. Jesus looked at him and said, no, don't follow me. I want you to go back to your people. Why? Jesus was saying to him that I want you to be my walking billboard so that whoever will see you will know that you had an encounter with the God who is able to transform and turn things around. I just came to pray for somebody real quick that whatever and wherever you are humiliated or disgraced, after this conference, may the Lord send you back as a walking billboard that his glory will be demonstrated through you. That wherever you get to, people will know that you had an encounter Look at three people, give them a high five, tell them he's talking to me. Come on, look at three people, tell them he's talking to me. Give three people a high five for me, tell them a neighbor he's talking to me. Can, can you walk across, look for somebody, tell the person neighbor, he's talking to me, talking to me. Look at somebody, say neighbor he is talking, talking to me. No, no. I, I get excited. When I read that portion of scripture, because you see, the Bible says, and after he has said, you are, they have been found, but that is not why you are here. Out of shock, perplexity, much anxiety, he said unto him, follow me, that I will tell you what is ahead of you. <sighs> My shock with that man of God when it comes to the prophetic ministry is that you see a prophet and, and these things are very common the work of the prophet is not telling you your phone number the work of a prophet is not telling you your name the work of a prophet is not telling you your account number the work of a prophet is not telling you your car number because that is called the elementary giftings of the Holy Ghost through a revelation called the word of knowledge and so when God wants to tell somebody something he can give you a word of knowledge to confirm what is in the past and the reason why the church of Jesus Christ shouldn't be excited about a phone number a car number a name or an address is because even the malam and the seer can see it too but what is strange about the prophetic ministry is the prophetic ministry does not excite or entertain the prophetic ministry is supposed to bring direction as to what is ahead of you and so when you hear that say of the Lord we are telling you that God is about to bring a shift in your spirit and in your natural life and that is what the prophetic ministry is about he said I will tell you what is ahead of you I'm the man called Saul followed the prophet even not knowing what awaited him scripture says and they went they had their dinner in the morning and I read first Samuel chapter number 10 the verse number one and Samuel picked a vial of oil and poured it upon the head of Saul and kissed him and said is it not because the Lord God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance verse number one it reads now verse number two verse number three he said unto him verse number four um you meet people they will give you things but when you get to the garrison of the philistines you get to the hill of god that is also the garrison of the philistines um where you meet god is the same place where the adversary has pitched his tent he, he had anointed him with oil but he's saying that where you are about to go there is strong man the adversary um, and the Philistines have also pitched their garrison in the same place. Is it not interesting that where you are going, there are adversities all around you? Uh, it is not interesting that 
that where God is sending you to, you'll find adversity and warfare. But I came to tell you, I said in the book of Isaiah chapter number 40, comfort ye my people, comfort ye my people, and say unto them that their warfare has accomplished. Any warfare you are confronted with, we say that the warfare has ended. Look at somebody and say, he's talking to me. Any warfare you are going through, that warfare, now watch this where you find the hill of God that is the same place where you meet the garrison of the Philistines where they have their artillery and their arsenals where they have their munitions and they keep stock of what they have to make sure they destroy and and wipe out the people of but, 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 but whilst you are going up that's where you will meet them they are not on the hill of God when you are going up the hill that problem in life is most of us we fail to appreciate that there is a place where God gives you rest that is when you get to the hill but on your way to the hill many are the afflictions of the righteous but God shall deliver him from them not some the Bible says he part I need to lead prayer, please. Um, he poured the oil on his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his people? He poured oil and kissed him and said unto him, That I've poured oil on you, I've kissed you, I've told you what God is going to do with your life, but don't be happy about it. He said unto him, and this is my prayer point. He said unto him, that whilst you are going you will meet prophets coming down the hill where you are going there are people coming from there the problem we have in life is that we fail to appreciate what is called strategic partnerships wherever you want to get to somebody is coming from there you are going to the heel of God but there are people coming from that place. When you meet them, you see that they are prophesying and their prophecy is as a result of encounters they had on the hill. You hear them speaking the mind of God, telling what the Lord showed them, coming up with revelations and insight. When you meet the prophets, you hear them prophesying, but the oil I poured on you won't change you. Listen, most of the time we think when the oil is poured on you, that is what is going to bring you the change. Actually, you can be buried in a, a barrel of oil. We can cause you to swim in an ocean of oil. You will still not get transformation. You know why? Because the prophet had told the young man called Saul that when you meet the men coming down because they've had encounters with the divine they carry the divine you have nothing to do with the divine apart from the oil that you have encountered but when they come into contact with you do not wait for them to tell you what is about to happen when you meet them connect with them the spirit that they had caught up in the holy place will come upon you you will rather prophesy with them not for them not to them but whilst they are making prophetic pronouncement you will also prophesy with them and when you prophesy with them you will activate the oil that was poured upon you then you shall be turned into another man and so being transformed to another man is based on the prophecy you make when you come into contact with people coming from the heel of God and so when you come to love revolution and Reverend Eastwood is giving the prophetic statement whilst you are in the congregation you need to connect with the oil and begin to prophesy with him and then you see a transformation look at somebody and say begin to prophesy come on
on, look for three people. Tell them begin to pray. Look for seven. In fact, seven people. Tell them, be tell them begin to prophesy. Seven people. Tell them. Tell them begin to look for seven people. Tell them. Seven people. Tell them begin to prophesy. Tell them begin to. So the transformation of the man was not on the, in the oil that was poured on him. The oil was poured on him, but he wasn't turned into another man. The only time the man turned into another man was when he connected to a higher voltage. Look at somebody and say, you always have to connect to a higher voltage. Oh, come on, look at somebody and say, you always need to connect to a higher voltage. Come on, give it up unto our Father. Look at somebody and tell the person, you need to connect to a higher voltage. So that is my prayer point that I'm raising. Then we do the other things. Check this out. He said the oil is poured on your right. And he picked a vial of oil and poured it upon the head of Saul and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? But the oil that is poured on you, the kisses, the love, the affection that is shown you, when it comes to a breakthrough service like this, that is not what is going to bring you the turnaround. He said, after the love, after the kisses, after the roses, you need to connect with the men that have already connected to God. So when you find yourself in a love revolution, you don't have to wait for our... He's my old man. He's not old, but he's my old man. But you don't have to wait for our old man to walk through the congregation and laying hands on you because, before you receive. It is the anointing. And so it is your ability to connect with the anointed. That tells the kind of anointing that flows through you. Because they were prophets, the Bible says, and he said, you will prophesy with them, not after them. It's not that you repeat what they are saying. As they are prophesying, you will prophesy with them and you shall be turned into another man. And so your transformation is hinged on you connecting with the men in power and authority. So when the man of God stands to minister, you plug into his source. You prophesy with him. You know the things that have been happening in your family for a long time. It's a breakthrough encounter. You know what has been happening for a long time. Before Saul was given the mandate to become the king, there was nobody even in his own lineage that has ever ascended that high. But he was the first to start. It came about when he plucked into a higher voltage. He said, when you meet the prophets coming down from the hill, you shall, you, 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 you shall hear them prophesy. The spirit of the prophets shall come upon you. And you will prophesy with them and you shall be turned to another man. I um, mean, the next five minutes, I want you to prophesy yourself. I want you to get into a time and an area or an atmosphere that you will pray yourself. You'll begin to prophesy and speak into the realms. You speak into the atmosphere. Who art thou, O great mountains? The Bible says before Zerubbabel, you shall be a plain. It is your ability to make those prophetic pronouncements that will determine how far. Thank you. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, come on, lift up your voice and pray. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Prophesy. 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 And he poured the oil on his head and said, God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance. But when you meet them, you will prophesy with them. And that is when the transformation will begin. Lift up your voice and begin to prophesy. Whatever has been hindering you, now come on, let your voice be lifted in the name of Jesus. That God will arise to your defense. 
Come on, Holy Spirit of God. Come on, pray. 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 Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the King of glory enter the reign. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord who is mighty in. But let every closed door, let every ancient door be opened. Let doors of old, let every door be opened. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Come on, lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. Come on, 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 lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. Please lift up your right hand with me. Say any adversity to my open door. Listen, I sense something very strong in this place. And, man of God, what I'm sensing is, after this, of all the Love Revolution conferences, of all of them that we have done, great man, of all of them that we have done, this is our eighth edition, of all of them that we have done, this is going to get people the greatest of results. Amen. Of all. I mean, I'm not downplaying what God did last year. I'm not downplaying what God did the years before. I'm just saying that God has begun a new thing with us as a people. Today, I was telling my good brother Moses, I was telling him that we are supposed to set a target for ourselves. That in the next two years, we as EAM, we are going to get our own venue. I told you. Not only buying our land, but if we have to get something like this, we will get it. So that we can run our shepherd summit. Run, run everything we want to do for the kingdom. Yeah. Now, 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 and so, the Lord told me this morning, when I was praying before I came, he said the frustrations with the date was just telling us that he has moved on. So we have to move and get places. And, and listen, it's not just for you. It's for everybody who has been drinking from the wells of this ministry. So if you've been drinking from the wells of this ministry, whatever thing, please lift up your right hand. I, I just feel like we should pray before I start doing the prophetic ministry. Um, as your right hand is lifted up. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, the verse number 9. For a great and effective door is opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Any adversity to your open door. I don't know where it is coming from, but any adversity to your open door. Say, Lord Jesus, as I lift up my voice and as I begin to pray, any adversity to my open door, any adversity to my financial door, any adversity to my ministerial door, any adversity to the doors of my life and eternal program, any adversity as I lift up my voice and as I begin to pray, I say right now that let that adversity be scattered in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, and let every enemy be scattered right now. Lift up your voice with me and begin to pray. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice right now. Any adversity to your open door, any adversity to your open door any adversity any adversity any adversity come on in the name of Jesus any adversity ratolobosa ye katabara basanda i katabosekede rakolobosanda eledele debosa any adversity any adversity any adversity any adversity 
in the name of Jesus adversity to your ministry adversity to your finances adversity to your progress adversity to your upward mobility adversity to your elevation any adversity in the mighty matchless wonderful supreme name of Jesus any adversity any adversity La Pradolo Bosanda da 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 Yeka ba 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 da ba sa ya da da. Yeka nda ba da ba da ba sa na da da da. Yeka nda ba 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 ba. Yeka nda ba da ba ya da 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 da. Yeka nda da 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 ba sa ya da 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 ba ya. Roka ba da ba sunda la ba da ya nda. Eya kera nda ba 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 ba. Eka ba da ba sunda da da ba ya. In the name of Jesus, raba da ba sunde. Yeka ba da ba sunda da 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 da. Imbarobo zende le 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 le. Ika ba 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 da ba zonda. Igranda ba da ba sanda da da da. Akanda ba kari akara ba sanda. Eka ba 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 ba. Rakola ba zonda da 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 da. E ba da ba sanda ya da da da. Lebranda ba 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 ba. Aya ba da ba sanda da 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 da. Aya granda ba da ba da ba ya. Aya granda ba da ba ya da granda ba da ba ya. Aya granda ba da ba ya da 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 da. Aya granda ba da ba ya da 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 ba ya. Abado ba sonde de de de. Rakola ba sunda ya da. Aya granda ba da ba shaya da. Eka ba 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 ba. Akronda ba sunda ya da 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 da. Abrada ba da ba sanda. Apa pa 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 pa. Aya da ba ya. Any opposition, any resistance, any adversity to your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, we rise up against it. Ya da ba sonda ya da. Eya da ba da ba da ba sha na da 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 da. Lekra na ba da ba da ba ya na da da da. Yekra na ba da ba ya da 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 ba ya. Ikra na ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ya. Aya kra na ba da ba ya da 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 da. Aya kra na ba da ba ya da 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 da. Akada ba sun da 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 da. Oka ba da ba da ba ya na da 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 da. Le ba 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 da ba da ba sha na. Eka to sa kata ya. Aka ka ba da ba kariya da. Rakola basunda ya da da da, ya sonde pete pete. Rakola basunda ba da ba ya, aya granda ba da ba ya da da da, aya branda ba da ba sanda da da da, aya granda ba da ba ya da 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 da, akolo ba sanda da 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 da, aya branda ba da ba ya da ba ya, ya branda ba da ba sonda ya, ikranda ba da ba ya da 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 da. Let your voice be lifted. Let your voice be lifted. Let your voice be lifted. Rakola basunda da da da. In the name of Jesus. Rakola basunda da 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 da. Aya granda ba da ba da ba ya. Aya granda ba da ba shaya da 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 da. Aya granda ba da ba ya da granda ba da ba ya. Aka da 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 da. Aya granda ba da ba da ba ya. Aya granda da 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 da. Aka da ba da ba shunda da 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 ya. Can we do the last prayer? For the next one minute. Now lift up your right hand with me, please. Please. This is what the Lord is telling me. There is a territory taking anointing. A territory taking anointing. There's an anointing that is ushering people into new beginnings. I'm hearing that clearly in my ears. There is an anointing being given to people. God is causing you, is giving you a new beginning, is starting afresh, setting things with you. And with what I am seeing, I'm seeing the Lord giving people the anointing to take new territories. A territory taking grace is coming upon people. This is a prayer I want you to pray. It's a breakthrough encounter. That Isaiah chapter 40 says your warfare has ended. The warfare has accomplished. It is accomplished. 
come unto me all ye that are heavily laden and I will give you there is a zone that God asks people to which is called the place of rest you want to pray unto God a heavenly father usher me into my moment of rest whereby the warfares of the yesteryears the afflictions of days and months and years gone by will not rear their ugly heads again and the bible says afflictions shall not rise again the second time it is about god giving you rest from adversity you are praying that god grant unto me rest rest from on high rest from adversity rest rest now now a period of rest doesn't mean that things will stop working after god had finished creation and rested on the seventh day the sun did not say that because god is resting i'm not going to shine things will continue to work even in your period of rest the period of rest is when human endeavor is limited and a divine effort takes over you want to pray unto god that usher me into my moment of rest let there be encounters with the divine let there be breakthroughs on every side the word for EAM and all of us participating in this mornings and this conference yesterday today tomorrow um, all the services whether it's the breakthrough encounter or the morning service or the evening sessions what God is saying is that he is ushering us all into a period of rest he is beginning new things with us and I want you to lift up your right hand and pray I don't know what you have been dealing with over the years but you are prophesying that God give me rest you are prophesying rest you are prophesying elevation you are prophesying promotion you are prophesying life and longevity you are prophesying rest to your endeavors you are prophesying in the name of Jesus come on lift your voice and pray is the last prayer is the last prayer lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray come on lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. 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 Rest is what God is talking about. And I sense in the realm of the spirit the Lord is bringing you rest on every side. Rest when you go out. Rest when you come in. An anointing that ushers people into taking new territories that's what the Lord is talking about and that's what he's bringing to you the Lord is bringing that to you right now come on lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray come on lift up your voice and pray 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 Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your hands. I want us to pray. He moved mountains. He caused walls, walls to fall. With your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing. That's impossible. And we stand. You perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we stand in here Only because you made So you made You made a way Say When our backs were against the wall And it looked the same the 
Jesus uh, this is what the Lord is telling me there are people here that the, the Lord God himself is granting unto you speed I just I just heard that granting unto you speed uh, in the realm of the spirit I saw that there were people that were being placed on like the backs of horses I saw a lot of white horses arranged and I saw people on the back of the horses and the horses were chided to move in the realm of the spirit thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost oh thank you holy ghost thank you holy spirit of god thank you holy spirit of god when I, when I saw that i saw that the people were placed on the backs of the horses and the horses were being asked to move and the speed with which they were moving i saw people running through troops thank you holy ghost moving over barriers and I saw people going beyond lines and levels and, and the Lord was telling me that he is giving people the grace not just to run but the anointing to overtake, the anointing to move beyond limitations, the oil that causes people. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. 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 I says I want you to get ready. I see the anointing of God coming upon some people and it's coming very strongly upon them. And what the Lord is saying is that he's going to move you from where you are and send you to where you are supposed to be. And I see that grace coming upon people right now. And whoever, thank you Jesus, bring them to me. You bring them to me. Get them for me. Get them for me. Get them for me. Thank you Holy Ghost. 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 Father, throughout the country, I see men, young men, you have been coveting the grace upon our Father for very long. And in this morning, in the breakthrough encounter, I saw that there were some young men, that there were some things that were holding you bound. And I saw just in this area, I saw that something had left you. An anointing had come over some people. And immediately when the oil had come, I saw that grace that had been operating on the life of the great man of God, visiting the lives of people. The same anointing. I see that anointing visiting people right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I help people in this place for me. I see an angel of God in this area. Help them, help them, help them, help them, help them. Help them. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Help them for me. Help them. Please. Please. Please get them for me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is an anointing that is visiting people. It is the breakthrough service. The anointing that breaks people through. The anointing that breaks through. Ayada Basayandada. The anointing that when it visits people i see i see that anointing coming upon people not by might not by power but by my spirit say of the lord the anointing of the most high is coming upon people any visitation visitation that your destiny requires i see that visitation coming right now 
in the mighty name of Jesus the anointing the anointing the anointing the anointing I sense a strong visitation of grace I sense a very strong visitation of grace Holy Ghost Holy Ghost please get him for me bring him to me bring him to me Father, in the name of Jesus. I see a baptism, a fresh baptism of power and fire upon you. And the Lord is saying to me that I'm equipping and empowering you and sending you to the nations. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Please lift up your hands. I just have some few minutes and I'll be out of your space. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is a breakthrough. Both of you come. Both of you come. Quickly. It's a breakthrough encounter. And that's what the Lord is saying. He's bringing you what is going to break you through and not just... There's an oil. Father, any power that you are placing on people for the next level, anything please close your eyes i just want to pray any an, any anointing for the new territory that god is placing on your life thank you jesus i pray that you will begin to walk in the manifestation thereof and whatever has been hindering you whatever has been stopping you this is what the lord is telling me there are people here that are going to move with such speed that is unimaginable that what you couldn't achieve for many years 10 years of labor he's saying that in a short period of time in a matter of months i am going to cause you to recover it all i pray for that grace of recovery may that grace that brings may that grace that brings recovery fall upon you right now please get them for me may that grace that brings recovery whatever you have lost in the mighty name of jesus whatever you have lost and couldn't do by the blood of the lamb and the testimony of our words we pray for the grace to recover everything what had delayed and slowed down spirit of god i i see this lady holding a white handkerchief and i'll minister to her in a short time spirit of god we pray that let that anointing that grace that might that power that visitation of glory rest on your people that what you want to do with us father we are ready lord we say that let it be done to your praise and glory in the name of jesus please call that man for me please come thank you jesus i'm going to pray for all these ones can i get oil how are you sir what do you do yeah i know but what do you do all right um i'm free to prophesy right Well, Moses, Moses couldn't have told me I'm not free. My old man told me that I should minister as the Lord leads. So, and Moses is my brother. And, um, hold on. Please who, who, who are you to him? He's your husband. Is your husband because I, I see a star falling from him and on you. Please hold your hands together. Whatever assignment God wants to do with your life, your primary assignment for the work God has given to you, technically, 
is for you to do two things to teach the word and god has given you the healing and deliverance ministry that is what god has placed on you if you don't know i'm, I'm just trying to tell you but the ministry god has placed on you is that of the healing and deliverance but you are supposed to be a teacher of the word as well now because of that kind of ministry god has placed on you there has been several attacks on your person as a person and the enemy has been coming very strongly at you strongly at you in the realm of the spirit i saw that the lord was telling me that we should pray with you because i see you embarking on a journey and the journey that you are embarking upon man of god you were going with your wife you were driving and you had an accident as well your wife survived you survived as well but you were rendered um let me not use that word but something had happened that would have made you unable to go about the assignment god has given to you the lord is telling me that he has been showing you dreams of you standing before large crowds of people and doing crusades and telling the people about not just the love of god but you also see people throwing away their 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 sticks and and wheelchairs and all that and healing taking place and you see that in your dream as well you know you you've had that dream the lord said unto me that we should pray and come against an accident it's good you are but you, if, if you are not a partner are you a partner of eam you're not a partner yet okay be a partner join us and um, um support us and we we as a ministry our mandate is to not take the love out only but ensure that ministers and ministries are also established and with the kind of assignment god has placed on your life you need such um mentorship tutelage or that kind of direction and covering god is going to help and visit you any accident that is that was assigned against you please stretch forth your hands here we want to pray and come up against it i told you that a, a prophet's work is not necessarily to tell you a name a phone number a car number a prophet's work is not necessarily um kojo you know that right it's to tell you what is ahead and that is what is ahead it doesn't mean that saying that or oh, that word of knowledge is, is bad no that's not what i mean because we can do that because the car that had an accident is an 18 registered car it's a it's a it's an ash car but i don't want to go there i told you that is not i don't do that please please stretch forth your hands so if i tell you that your car number is say a gs 385-18 is that your number that's your number please stretch forth your hands because i see the accident and i see the car that has been wrecked and that's the number of the car as well stretch forth your hands on him i have some few minutes please help me so that we can we can minister we are praying that anything that has been assigned against him the lord god will take it off his life god will do your ministry is small it's a small ministry right you want to give microphone for confirmation okay it's a small ministry okay all right all right in case um, those of you who were watching online everything i said you confirmed i think that's what you want to do okay you confirmed please stretch forth your hands i want us to pray that oh, okay do you know what please both of you go and kneel before my father and let him lay hands on you whilst all of you pray for him i think that anointing the father's anointing is better to help in that regard and let the sons be sons thank you holy ghost and father in the name of jesus we pray right now that let that visitation can you lift them up for me i want to pray for i wish i could minister to all of you here right now thank you jesus spirit of god spirit of god spirit of god spirit of god yes in the name of jesus let please hold him hold him tightly for me let the anointing the lord said he's doing a new thing and this is what the lord said i'm bringing you recovery uh, for my time let me just summarize it thank you holy ghost thank you holy spirit of god 
Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Any delay. That's what the Lord told me. Any, any set mark of delay. Any spirit that has been set to delay and derail you. By the blood of the Lamb, by the testimony of our words. May that ancestral hold and droppings of darkness lose their hold right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let that anointing come upon you. Anointing take new territories just visited you. Holy Ghost. Warfare has ended. Your warfare has ended. That is the same word I'm hearing. That warfare has ended. What has fought you for years just made room for your elevation. Your warfare has ended. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please lift up your right hand. I'm, I'm almost done. I have 10 minutes, so I have time. I'm supposed to leave the microphone, leave the stage at 8.55. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some things here. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. See what God is doing with him. Hold him for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Can I get every eye closed, every right hand lifted? It's a breakthrough encounter. And if you hear the voice of God, you know the time we are in. Just as the Lord was telling me, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There are certain dimensions that he wants to usher people to. There are people who have overstayed in those camps and you feel in your spirit that it's about time you step up. And I heard the Lord saying to me that I am perfecting that which concerns my people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He said unto me, I am perfecting that which concerns my people. Therefore, any area of concern that you have been tarrying, waiting on God for, Spirit of God, We bring an end to the waiting period. And today, by virtue of the anointing present, I connect with the oil on our Father. And we make a pronouncement that is enduring. And from today, any door that has been closed is open any gate that has been shut has been lifted off any adversity to your next level has been dealt with and may the lord god of the heavens perfect that which concerns you there is a breakthrough in the whole of the atmosphere i see rains and people are being soaked and drenched with it Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, this is what I want you to do. There are many, there, there are people who are sensing that this is your season for breakthrough. You are sensing. You can have a witness in your heart. You have a witness in your heart. Now, those of you that are sensing that, this is what I want you to do. From now, like now, within 24 hours, man of God, within 24 hours, those of you that are sensing and I want you to be sure about that because it's going to happen the word of God will never fall to the ground and die as the rain and the snow falleth from heaven and return not it about what the land that it might bring forth and bad and bring seed to the soul and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it will accomplish that which I please 
and it will prosper in that which I sent it. That's what the Bible says. This is what God told me. If you have a witness in your heart and you know for sure that this is your season for the breakthrough. This is what God told me you are to do in 24 hours. I want those people to sow a seed of 770 Ghana cities. And if you sense that, come to me. I want to pray with you. Man of God, thank you. Can I get my... What, what I am seeing, I am... Please come. Within 24 hours. You want to redeem that. Please take it. You want to redeem. Wherever you are, I want you to come. There are some of you who are believing God for a ministerial opportunity. And God has been speaking to you. Anything that has delayed, I want to pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Anything that has slowed down or delayed in your life is coming. I, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. I think I'm, I'm waiting on people that are supposed to do this. You can do it this evening. You can do it tomorrow morning. You can do it. But before the conference is over, please don't go, sir. Before the conference is over, within 24 hours, you can do a redemption. It is a breakthrough encounter. It's a breakthrough. And I want you to do it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, okay. In the mighty, matchless, in the supreme, superior name of Jesus, your word, your word never fails. That's what you said. That's what I have done. The people and your people have also hearkened to your voice. And therefore I pray that let the rewards thereof let what you have programmed in eternity and before time especially for this day be activated and realized. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thankfully, I still have three minutes. Thank you. If you are here and you are expecting a breakthrough, you are believing God for a breakthrough, and you want it activated. You see, I tell you this. It is always the people coming from the hill. They have something that can trigger where you are going. And therefore, if you are believing God for a breakthrough, I don't know where you are and what the Lord is laying on you, come to me. I still want you to sow within 24 hours. Whatever God is telling you, some of you that I can do 500, you can do 300, you can do 200, you can come. I still want you to do it. Because I don't want anybody to go home without, this is the first breakthrough encounter. And I want you to be a part of it. Are you through with your course? I, what? You're almost done. Okay. I want. I want you to do it. Azovu. Jesus. 
I, I want everybody who is believing God, you are believing God for a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough encounter. And you, you need to trigger it. For those of you that are watching online, there is a projection on the screen how you can contribute, how you can sow into it. Not just con This is not a contribution. How to connect vast the cyber sanctuary and, 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 and also connect and, and push this. Connect and also receive your breakthrough wherever you are. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray with your people. Okay. Those of you who have not taken it yet, we pray with your people and we ask that your hand will come upon them. The breakthrough, the required and the desired breakthrough will be made available unto them. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Now, wherever you are, I want you to be upstanding and lift your offerings. The first session is mine. And um, I want you to lift your offerings wherever you are. Let us give unto God. Lift up your offerings. I, I want us to give unto God. Father, as we lift up our offerings unto you, we say that a good measure pressed down, shaken together, and being caused to run over will be given unto us. Let this be credited to our account. The mighty name of Jesus, the one who rules, reigns, and has regency. Amen. Arise, arise, arise. Arise, arise, take your place, be at Rome on our praise. Arise, King of Kings, Holy God, as we sing, arise. Oh,
we'll lift you up, we'll lift you up, we'll lift you up on our praises. Oh, we'll lift you up, we'll lift you up, we'll lift you up, we'll lift you up, Jesus. you give a big clap offering to Jesus and thank him this morning. Choir, thank you so much. 
Oh, come on, somebody add a shout to that clap. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. How many of you enjoyed that? I, I started listening to the message from from whom before I got here. The, the technology is very interesting. It helps you to follow everything. And uh, we were sitting in the car and listening to the message and coming. And what all we kept saying is that this thing is powerful. I mean, you could you could feel the anointing on, in the on the Facebook, and uh, the thing is coming through your phone, and it's that powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah! I, I thought you'd be more excited than this. I thought you'd be more excited than this, but uh, what an awesome ministry! And um, what fascinates me about Dr. Nyamiche is um, the ability to combine spirituality with intellectualism. I don't know how he does it, but if you are very spiritual, it's very difficult to be intellectual. And if you are very intellectual too, it's very difficult for you to um, be spiritual. But he managed to find a way to combine it, and it's so interesting. I, I'm just holding some things here. Um, I asked him for them. I'm seeing um, bachelors.